At its annual Los Angeles breakfast, the Jewish National Fund held a debate on whether Israel media reporting is biased. The conversants were Larry Elder from Salem Radio, conservative talk host, and from Israel, uh, Chemi Shalev, a political correspondent for Haaretz, English language newspaper online. So today was our 12th annual Breakfast for Israel. Uh, this is an event that's grown from 50 people to over 1,200 people. And today's subject was media bias in Israel. And I think we offered a very thought-provoking subject with two keynote speakers, one Hemi Shalev, who came in from Israel and represents Haaretz Magazine, and Larry Elder, who's a national radio talk show host. What do you think about the uh, comments from the audience where, you where there were people who felt that uh, it, Israel is not getting uh, a, a biased reportage themselves living in the United States reading the same uh, media that you and I do. Well, uh, you know, I, I think that most uh, America is a unique animal, of course, and so I, I think that they don't realize, and I think even we don't realize that the the, the give and take that we have politically here in America is far greater than just about anywhere else in the world. Our sense of freedom of press is much stronger. Even having said that, though, uh, I think that we do have some balance issues, uh, especially when it comes to Israel. Uh, that, that, to me, in my personal opinion, is that uh, Israel does not get the fair shake that it deserves. I'm hoping that it's getting better over the years uh, with the advent of social media and so many different more forms of um, news outlets. So that's, that's a good sign. The more that, for example, the more that Europeans uh, get agitated by, uh, immigra by, by Muslim immigration, the more they will tend to view Israel more favorably. Um, I don't think that we need to, I don't think there is some cabal of newspaper editors who sit around and think, okay, well, we're, this is the way we're going to uh, do Israel wrong. I just don't think that that exists. People belong to their surroundings, they reflect their surroundings, and intellect, liberal intellectuals in Europe are very critical of Israel, and that gets reflected in the newspapers. Yeah. And Larry, of course, uh, just knocked it out of the park, thought it was great. Uh, and it's great to have somebody that's different, maybe not necessarily a Jewish, not necessarily an Israeli, to speak on behalf of Israel, to show that uh, we're, we're behind you, Israel, you know, we who are outside of the Jewish community as well. What did it reflect about uh, Chemi having uh, a liberal Israeli journalist claim that there isn't anti-Israel bias? He is in the print journalism business, right. and I believe that there is a circle the wagons kind of feel when you are perceived as uh, putting out misinformation. I think there's a, there's a reaction to kind of defend your profession, and maybe that's part of what's going on. I, I don't want to psychoanalyze him. He seems like a smart guy. I just think he's wrong. I mean, when it comes to the way... John Kerry, as I mentioned when I was speaking, the former Secretary of State can just routinely and, and blithely say that Israel does not want peace. Uh, again, I, it's offensive. And the fact that he wasn't jumped on, it wasn't covered by CBS, by NBC, by, by it should have been a front page newspaper story. John Kerry, former Secretary of State, uh, blasts Israel, accuses Israel of not wanting peace. That should have been a headline, but it wasn't. And this is what I mean by bias, the story that isn't covered, the story that isn't uh, uh, put out, the perspective that's, that's skewed. Do you see any inherent irony in having an Israeli arguing that there isn't Israeli anti-Israeli bias and a, a black Gentile arguing that there is? I think there's an irony there. I can't speak directly for Chemi because I don't live in Israel. I know that um, in America, I think it's amazing that Larry Elder is a supporter of Israel. Um, you know, at the past breakfast, we have had uh, conservative uh, speakers who are staunch supporters of Israel. We try to bring in speakers not based on their political views but on their um, opinions and uh, support of Israel. So this may be the first exposure that uh, more than half of this audience is getting to uh, your perspectives or points of view uh, f from your perspective. What do you think about that? It's about time. <laughs> Day late and a dollar short. <laughs> The, the guys, uh, the host Larry and Chemi, both made it uh, very easy to, to moderate. Uh, of course, the audience had some great questions as well. I, I was very happy and, and honored to be doing it. That mainstream media reportage about Israel follows a liberal bias would seem academic to many. But based on conversations and audience reactions, opinions seem to follow partisan lines. Reporting from Los Angeles, the Beverly Hilton, Scott Jacobs reporting.